my body, he touched my mind. He saved me right on. I'm gonna praise his name. Each day is just the same. I'm gonna praise him. Look what the Lord has done. Let's do that again. Look what the Lord has. Well, look what the Lord has. Yes, he healed my body. He touched. He saved me just in time. I'm going to praise. Oh, Lord, each day is just the same. I'm going to. Thank you, Jesus. Look what the Lord has done. Do you have him? I've got him. Can't explain, but uh, this is too deep for me. The Lord has done. I'm going to turn this chair. The Lord has healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me just in time. I'm going to praise his name. Let me hope that will work. Each day is just the same. I'm going to praise him. Look what the Lord has done. I've got him. One, two, three. I've got him. Three, four, five. I've got him. Six, seven, eight. I've got him. Come on, everybody. Something. Something about the Holy Ghost. I can't explain, but I got him. Where do you have him? Well, I've got him in my hands. Got him in my feet, got him in my walk, got him in my talk, got him in my hands. Come on, church. Oh, yeah. Got him all over me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got him. Oh, yeah. I've got him. Something about the Holy Ghost. I can't explain, but I got him. Everybody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We begin our Thanksgiving service with the words of the Lord. As he brings comfort to our hearts in a wonderful way, I ask of you to consider life. So the psalmist says, Lord, teach me to number my days that I may give my heart unto wisdom and i would love for us to reflect on those words from the word of the lord then he says in his famous beatitudes blessed are they that mourn for they shall be blessed are they that mourn for they shall be and so we want you to rest secure in the promises of god though you may be disheartened right now and broken God will comfort you in a way that no man can. So we rest in the arms of sweet deliverance. With me today is our assistant pastor, Javon Blackwood. And we are just so glad he was able to make it. And uh, other members from the faith groups around and in Old Harbor. And uh, even Jamaica for that matter. For those who are joining us via the internet or other platforms, we welcome you today. And we hope and trust that your input will allow this Thanksgiving service to be more bearable for those who are mourning the loss of a father, father-in-law, uncle, and as such the like. Ladies and gentlemen, let us stand together as we go to the opening hymn, The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastors green, he leadeth me. The quiet waters by. He lives. He lives. He lives. I know that my Redeemer lives. He lives within my heart. For those who will be coming to the microphone, we ask you not to handle it. Just use it. Amen? So you don't have to take it out. 
so that we don't have to be spraying alcohol all the time and such the like. Amen? God richly bless you. After two church, the Lord's my shepherd to the tune of the happy wonders. It's a good day to celebrate the life of a great man, Mr. Blackwood. One, two. In fastest grade, he leadeth me. Come on, everybody. What do you say? Oh, yes, he lives. I know he lives. Oh, I know that my Redeemer, he lives. My soul. And me to walk doth make within the paths of righteousness. He end for his own name's sake. Come on, everybody. He lives. Oh, yes, he lives. I know he lives. Where does he live? Yea, though I walk in death's dark veil. Yet will I fear no ill, for thou art with me, and thy rod and staff they comfort still. Oh, be comforted, family. He lives. Oh, yes, he lives. He lives. Praise God. He lives. My table thou hast furnished, praise God. In presence of my foes, my head thou dost with oil anoint, and my cup overflow. He lives, everybody. Yes, he lives. I know he lives. He lives. Praise God. Hallelujah. Celebrate now goodness and mercy. All my life shall surely follow me. And in God's house forevermore, my dwelling place shall be. Come on, everybody. Lift those voices. He lives. Praise God. Oh, yes. Amen. Know that my. Oh, sweet Jesus. This feels like church. He lives, he lives. Come on, people. Oh, yes, he lives. I know he lives. He lives. He lives. Yes, he lives. Within my heart. We bow our heads. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. Oh, lift the hand and say hallelujah. Good God. Father, we thank you for your presence. As your people gather together to celebrate the life of another patriarch, another husband, another uncle, another good civil servant, another citizen. Oh God, we thank you for gracing our presence with your presence. We sense your nearness and we know you're here for comfort. You're here for counsel. You're here, oh God, for consolation. We raise up the family to you right now. And we ask you to stand by them. Continue to be with them. Continue to be their protection, support, and guide. We raise up the congregants within the COVID-19 reality. We are still able to stand apart yet together to glorify your name for length of days and long life. Thank you, Jesus. Guide us through this program, O oh Lord, and everything to be said and done. Let these words be words of encouragement, memories of hope, oh, and a celebration of great achievements. Allow these words to give us a good look at ourselves and to consider tomorrow. Bless our gathering, we pray. 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and all of God's children say Amen. all of God's children say Amen. praise God Almighty first reading Phyllis Blackwood daughter-in-law first Corinthians 15 50 through 58 right after sister Phyllis we're gonna ask sister Juanita Blackwood to come daughter to do remembrance of a father well loved and then Rainford Newell from the AME Church will give our tribute today. God bless you in that order. Yes, sir. Thank You're you. welcome. Good morning, everyone. The reading this morning comes to us from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 50 to 58. Now I say, brethren, that corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show your mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed, put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immor immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, oh, death mm -hmm. where is thy sting? O oh, grave, mm -hmm. where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, mm -hmm. and the strength of sin is the law. Thank you. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory mm -hmm. through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my <coughs> beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye knew, know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Here in that portion of the Lord's reading, let us say, Amen. Amen and Amen. Praise God. Okay, Daddy, Dada, Brother Ba, Babal, Ma George, Georgie. Where is some of the name? George Blackwood was called. He was kind-hearted, caring, willing, and well-mannered. Daddy took care of his mother for decades and was a nurse with the help of his son and daughter until the day she died, when she was sick, then buried her. He was a judge of all trades and master of many. George could do plumbing, masonry, and carpentry. He was also a mechanic. I bought a car, and he did all the mechanical work on the Toyota Corolla, and he drove it everywhere. He had 10 children with his first wife, Laurel. Now eight alive, one deceased, and one still born. Daddy taught us many trades, especially painting. He worked very hard and was strong and determined. He worked at Mac Machado Tobacco Company as a, as a pump operator. He went to work six days a week, very early. He held his family strong, trusting in the Lord. That he was a man of peace, and he would laugh especially when he was on the phone and when he would turn to the church were wrong. That I prayed every night and he loved to sing. His favorite foods were KFC and oxtail. He was a good planner with the help of his first wife and made a good living. In the morning, he would call his children and kill them. He called his fattest daughter of his seven daughters, all short and all bald. And they would laugh and told for hours because she sent him credit. He owned many cows at Colbeck and he enjoyed running the any cows with his two boys, Trevor and Herbert. He called some of his girls Granny and Mother. He would phone and ask them what they are eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Most girls as a resident in Canada for years. And he enjoyed it, but my mom encouraged him to come back to Jamaica 
to me because it was too cold for her. Later, his first wife died because of her mom, and he remarried Doris. They had a good life together. Most days, he would call his only sister, who is alive. He was a child, so he had a lot of time to make phone calls and laugh. Daddy lived, Daddy died leaving his wife in which the union bear no children. His eight children, eleven children, eleven great grandchildren, one sister, two brothers, other relatives and friends. Daddy wouldn't beat us after Mama would do all the beating. Because we would sit, you know, alone. In the words of the morning, George's five daughters and one son are living in Canada and it is on the Lord now because of the coronavirus until April, maybe. They could not come, but they all sent their love and support. My mother became a Christian and later he accepted the Lord and was baptized at the Church of God of Prophecy. But because of his health, he became a Christian. May his soul rest in peace. Give him praise, everybody. Officiating Minister Bishop U. Dixon, other officiating ministers, other members of the clergy, members of the bereaved family, friends, well wishers, good morning. Good morning. I stand to bring tribute in place of my father, Reverend Lenford Newell who has another engagement. As we celebrate the life of the late George Blackwood, Reverend Lenford Newell would have served George Blackwood as pastor and uh, he has scripted these few words in tribute. George was a good man, this goodness as found in the scripture, Psalm 23, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you, and uh, we can truly attest that this scripture's promises has indeed followed George throughout his lifetime. Endearing, George was very endearing. He saw it and affection to his wife, his family, his friend, and all his associates. He was very obedient, and uh, the greatest obedience is when an individual can truly accept the call to salvation and uh, we want to really remember him as that obedient person. He was rare, very rare. You will never find another George like George Blackwood and uh, indeed we want to celebrate his life. He was a very gallant individual we see this in his attentiveness to his wife, to his family. Such gallantry was displayed with great dignity and uh, encouraging. He was very encouraging. If you were ever down and felt like you need an encouraging word, you could always rely upon George Blackwood. May his soul rest in peace and may life perpetual shine upon him. God bless you. Precious memories, how they linger. 
time how they linger how they ever flood my soul in the stillness praise God of the midnight precious sacred scenes unfold thank you so very much Mr. Newell and uh, Sister Blackwood daughter and Sister Blackwood daughter-in-law for your contribution so far. Ladies and gentlemen, Dulcie Edwards, family friend, St. Luke 24, 1 through 5, second lesson. Then we'll have a tribute. I hope that there is somebody with a tribute. No? We're pressing on. Amen. So we'll go to the hymn right after the second lesson. Dulce Edwards. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Our first second lesson is taken from St. Luke 24 verses 1 through to verse 5. Now on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they had certain other women with them, came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Then as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, why do ye seek the living among the dead? Here and there's a portion of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, Amen. And I have been given permission by my pastor to say just a few words. And so I would like first of all to express condolence to the Blackwood family, to his dear wife over there, Sister Blackwood, and to the children, Juanita and Trevor, who is out here, and to those abroad who I know if it had not been for COVID, they would all be here. So to Gloria, Haya, Rose, Herbie, and the two bigger ones I am not so much familiar with, I would just like to express my condolences to you and pray that the Lord will give you strength. And um, just one little thing about Mr. Blackwood. As Juanita said, he was very kind. He was my very good friend. I live, I used to live three houses away from him. And anything he got, you know that I am getting out of it. And even when I removed and went to Claremont, the last time was later down in December, he called and he said, Chita, we have something for you. I said, put it down for me, because I know that it, it wasn't something that could spoil. It could be frozen. And so I went and I picked it up sometime later in January. So he was very kind. And, and we talk very often. And I, I can remember his favorite words every time I call him. And I said, Brother Bo, because that's what I call him, how are you? And his favorite words were, mercy, I plead, my sister. Mercy, I plead. So, so, Brother Bar, may your soul rest in peace. And to the family, be of courage. God will straighten you. Thank you. 
Thank you so very much, Sister Edwards. We go now to the hymn. Let's stand together, everyone, as we are a jubilant nation and a people. We go to the hymn, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, when the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. I like that last expression. Mercy, what again, Sister Dulcie? Mercy, a what? Is the first I hear that one and I like it. Mercy, I plead, man. Let's sing after two. One, two. When the saved of earth shall gather. Roll is called up yonder. Will you be there? When the roll. When the roll. When the roll is called up. Oh, when the roll is called up yonder. On that bright and cloudless morning. When his chosen one shall gather, roll is called up yonder. Come on, everybody. I'm not hearing the ladies. It's called up yonder when the roll is. Let us labor for the master. Praise God. Everybody sing when the roll. Praise God. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When it's called up. When the roll is called up, let us labor for the master. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Somebody worship. When the roll, yonder I'll be there. Praise God. Yonder I'll be there. When the roll is called up. When the roll is called up, when the roll, one last time, when the roll, it's a lively hope. He that hath this hope purifieth himself. When the roll is called up, yon, when the roll is called up, yon, let us labor for the master. This feels like church. Let us talk. Then when all roll is called up, will you be there? Sing the song when the roll yonder I'll be there. When the roll yonder I'll be there. When the roll is called up, yonder I'll be there. When the roll is called up. One last time. When the roll is called up. Somebody call him by his name. Jesus. Call him by his name. Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, hallelujah. There is a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. Hallelujah. And I know it is a presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so very much, Sister Dulcie, for reading the scriptures. And you see the Bible that you read from? The New Testament, Gideon. You can't find that anymore. <laughs> My goodness. In honor of Mr. Blackwood, we pull out the New Testament from way back when. Thank you so very much, Sister Dulce. Ministering song will be coming to us. But before Audrey Francis comes, I want to introduce to you our assistant pastor, Javon Blackwood from the New Testament Church of God. He hails from... Saint Elizabeth, affectionately known as Saint Beth, that comes after Trelawney. 
Yes. You know we have to put that in. <laughs> St. Best, the breadbasket of Jamaica. And he is a graduate of the Bethel Bible College. Caribbean Jamaica chapter. We are just so privileged to have this young preacher and the pastor with us in St. Catherine, Old Harbor to be particular at this time. An example and an ensample of true commitment to Christ. Right after Sister Audrey sings, he will bring a word for us and to us. And we will go to the prayer for the bereaved family right after that word. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and make welcome Audrey Francis right after Sister Francis. Put your hands together now for the Reverend Javon Blackwood. Clap your hands now. Sounds like you love Audrey more than Reverend. Bless the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This song that I'm going to sing, I would encourage family and friends just to think about the wonderful times that you have had with Mr. Blackwood. Precious memories unseen angels sent from somewhere to my soul how oh, they linger ever near me and the sacred past unfold How oh, they linger, how oh, they ever flood my soul in the stillness oh, of the midnight, precious sacred scenes unfold. Pre Precious Father, loving Mother, fly across the lonely hills and old home scenes of my childhood in the fun memories appear. Precious memories, how oh, they linger, oh how they ever flood my soul in the stillness of the midnight. Precious sacred scenes unfold as I travel on life's pathway know not what the hairs may hold as I ponder hope grows fonder precious memories Floods my soul. Precious memories. How oh, they linger. Hallelujah. How oh, they ever flood my soul. In the stillness oh, of the midnight. Precious sacred scenes unfold how oh, they linger how oh, they linger how oh, they linger oh ever ever near me precious sacred 
sins and Praise God. Praise the Lord. Could you do that again? Precious memories. Help me out, Sister Grace. Just memories. How they linger. How they linger. How they ever so in the stillness of the midnight. Just memory. How they linger, how they ever flood my Oh, praise God. In the stillness of the midnight, precious sacred scenes unfold. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we really put our hands together for such a beautiful song today? Hallelujah. Can we really put our hands together for Jesus Christ, our Savior, our King, our Source? He is worthy to be praised, to be glorified. Even in this kind of environment, He is still worthy. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord our God. To Bishop U.B. Dixon. My senior pastor, I greet you well, sir. To members of the bereaved family, I greet you well and I offer uh, words of comfort from the word of the Lord to say that God is certainly with you and that he will continue to offer consolation. Blessed are the mourn. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. That is an assurance from the Holy Spirit that as you mourn, you will receive his comforting grace. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King and uh, Savior. Hallelujah. My task here is to share from the word of the Lord and uh, to trust that you will be blessed as a result of such. The word of the Lord comes to us from the book of Revelation, chapter 14. Revelation 14, verse 13. And I, I have to acknowledge that the deceased has my name. Yes. <laughs> I, I must acknowledge that Sir Blackwood has my name. And for those persons who, who are here who have such a wonderful name, I know that Mr. Blackwood was an amazing man and based on the memories would have they, based on the memories that would have been shared yes. and the experiences that, that persons would have had yes. certainly yes. he was a good man put your hands together Amen. for an awesome name Wonderful. for an awesome man Wonderful. for an awesome family praise the lord <laughs> praise god praise god amen revelation 14 and verse 13 praise god And it reads, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Here ends a portion of the reading of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, Amen. Amen. Praise God, praise God. I just want to share with you briefly from the passage that was read. Blessed are they, or blessed are the dead, which die in the Lord from henceforth. And we can certainly establish, based on the life that Sir Blackwood would have lived that he died in the Lord. Amen? 
Sister Dulcie made mention of his uh, kindness. And the kindness is a part of the fruit of the spirit. And so if a man is able to exemplify kindness, certainly he was saved. Certainly he would have died in the Lord. The reality is, beloved brothers and sisters, it is appointed unto man once to die, but after death comes the judgment. I believe that believers should not be afraid to die because once you are in Christ, there is an assurance that you shall certainly live again. Is that an amen? amen. Is that an amen, church? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I am not insensitive to the fact that we have persons here who are currently mourning. Yes. But the reality is when a saint dies, yes. when a saint dies, we should certainly celebrate because such a person died in the Lord and will certainly be with the Lord. The Apostle Paul said, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Might I say to you that as believers, our hope is not limited to this life, but our hope transcends this life. When we die, we know that we will be in Beulah land. We know that we will see our loved ones again. And might I say to you, Lady Blackwood, that you will see Sir Blackwood again because he died in the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In fact, he mentioned that mercy, a plea. That's, that was a man that was certainly conscious of the fact that it is because of the grace and the mercy of God why we still live. Believers, we can testify of the fact that because of mercy, because of mercy, we are still here. Mercy connotes that we don't get what we deserve. Oh my God, we've missed the mark. We've sinned. We've done so many things. But listen to the words of Mr. Blackwood. Mercy, a plea. He acknowledged that why I am still living. Mercy. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. The psalmist says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So he acknowledged that portion of scripture. That because I am still living, mercy still a plea. Oh, we can testify of the fact that we are still living because mercy, a plea. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that your hearts are broken, but the Lord promised us that he draweth nigh to the brokenhearted. He knows what you're going through. is not disconnected from what you're going through, but he's yoking with you as you go through this experience. Take comfort in the word of God. Take comfort in the fact that God is with you. He is our refuge, our strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow. Sir Blackwood, is no longer working. He's resting in the arms of Jesus Christ. He's resting in the arms of Jesus Christ. His acts of kindness are through. But we can remember that he would have worked for the Lord. Because if a person expresses kindness, that person is representing God. Amen? That person is laboring for the Lord. But no, he is gone. He is gone. His labor is through. Yes, his labor is through. But guess what? We can learn lessons from his labor. The lessons that we can learn. Lesson number one. Try at all times to be kind-hearted. Be kind-hearted. Be, kind be thoughtful. Consider your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself. 
Sir Black could exemplify that because he was a man who was in Christ. Might I say to you that if you're not in Christ, you will not be able to exemplify that as Sir Blackwood did. So I exhort you to make that decision today to be in Christ and to surrender your life to Christ so that you'll be able to exemplify neighborly qualities such as kindness. Lesson number two. Remember to always connect and communicate. Yes. Sir Blackwood took the time out to speak with his daughters and his sons and his loved ones. Take the time out to check on each other, to exemplify Christ-like virtues. If you look at the life of the man, you know that he died in the Lord. That is why we can say, blessed are the dead. Happy, delighted. Because Mr. Blackwood died in the Lord. If you should die today, would you die in the Lord? Would you die in the Lord? Would persons be able to stand and speak of your life in a particular way? That is so fascinating. That is so uh, in tandem with scripture to say that this was a man of God. This was a child of God. This was a servant of God. Might I say to you that if your relationship with God is, is not really working functionally as it ought to work, look at the life of the man and say, this man has died in the Lord. So certainly I need to get myself together because you don't know when your day of appointment will be. So as you prepare your hearts for that day, remember the two lessons Lesson number one, kindness. Lesson number two, communicate and connect. Yes, you might be going through an extremely dark period because you've lost a loved one. But I just want you to be reminded of the fact that this man, George Blackwood, is in the arms of Jesus Christ. His life would have exemplified Christ-like attributes which gives us the assurance that he died in the Lord. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord for they shall rest from their labors. Yes. Beloved brothers and sisters be encouraged. Be encouraged. Life and death are in the hands of God. May the peace of God be with the family. For those who have tuned in may the peace of God be with you. Be consoled by the life that Sir Blackwood would have lived. A life that exemplified Christ. And be mindful of the fact that you ought to embrace the lessons from this man's life. So that when your time has come to an end, we can testify of the fact that you died in the Lord. God's blessings be upon you, Bishop Dixon, at this time. Thank you so very much, Reverend Blackwood. We're going to ask the family to remain seated. And everyone else, I'm going to ask you to stand. So we give support to the family at this time as we go to the prayer for the family. All family members in Jamaica and abroad, we bear you up before the Lord today. For those who are standing could you just reach a hand toward the family, please? A hand extended, reaching out to this family. Let us touch them. And we do it as we touch Jesus, so that they may know and be blessed. Reach that hand out with purpose, sincerity, and love as we bear up the Blackwoods today. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, our Father. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. All we have needed, your hands hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto us. Thank you, Lord, for being very present in the lives of these, your children. 
who are now grieving the loss of a loved one, one who lived in kindness, one who lived in connection, who communicated right to the very end, one who is gone home in peace. George, we will miss, but he lives on. He lives on in his children. He lives on in his wife. He lives on in his neighbors. He lives on in the kind deeds he has done, the communications done, the way he connected. He will never be forgotten for the third and fourth generations will speak of him. They will know of him. They will learn from him. For the instructions given to his children are now being passed on to their children. And the grandchildren are about to pass it on to the great grandchildren. Oh God, we thank you. But most importantly, Jehovah, would you wipe the tears from their eyes? And as they cry, oh God, allow them not to cry as a people with no hope. But let them cry in memory. But celebrate tomorrow as a better day. Let them cry in reflecting. But rejoice in knowing that Beulah land has been his destination. And they too will say one day we will meet in the sweet by and by. We pray God that you will comfort them. As the preacher said, Lord your word gives us that promise and you cannot lie comfort them in the midnight watches when they sit on the veranda and reflect on George let them remember the goodness of God oh mercy I plead I pray Jehovah God that they will celebrate that life in you Jesus Christ because you have been his God you have been his guide and you have been his guard Watch over this family now, we pray, in every sense of the word. Keep a roof up above them. Let them always have a good place to sleep. Put food on their tables. Keep shoes on their feet. Give them your love, Lord, most importantly. For what good is having everything in this life, but not having Jesus? It's more important to have you than all of these. But because you are present, God, these amenities will be provided. Oh, bind them together near and far with the cord of love that cannot and will not be broken. I pray today, Father, where healing is needed, be the healer. Where comfort is needed, be the comforter. Where counsel becomes necessary, be their counsel, but most importantly, be their God. I leave them in your hands now, from this day forward, henceforth and forever, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Take this family to higher heights and greater achievements in life, and let them all say, had it not been for God, it would not have been done. In your name we pray, we all say, we all say, we all say, everybody say, and amen to the Lord God of our Father George. Mercy, I plead. Thank you so very much, Reverend Blackwood. Sister Audrey, we invite you to the Old Albany New Testament Church tomorrow morning. <laughs> Sister Audrey, you stay so much. <laughs> she has convention tomorrow. We pray that you will minister well. That was wonderful singing. And we wish you all the very best. If you will stay in Old Harbor, we're open at 8 at the New Testament Church of God. All are welcome. We have a very special preacher tomorrow. And we would love you to hear it. It's the closing of our Black History Month celebrations. And we would love for you to be there. God richly bless you. Let's stand together, everyone, as we go to the singing of the recessional hymn. We are going to make our way to the graveside.
And guess what? Nobody is permitted to drive. If anybody dare to go in that car and start that engine and drive, you won't be permitted to come. <laughs> Nobody is permitted to come. Everybody must walk to the graveside. And I'm asking you to cooperate the best way you know how. And the heavens are on us. Let's sing this hymn. <laughs> This wonderful hymn. Praise him, praise him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Sing, O earth, his wonderful love proclaim. Hail him, hail him, as our angels in glory. Strength and honor give to his holy name. We're going to do the first verse together, and then the pallbearers are going to come. And as we do the second verse, we're going to make our way to the graveside for the committal in a wonderful way. So we're going to ask the pallbearers to come after two. Praise him, praise him. One, two. Jesus. Sing, O earth. Wonderful love proclaim. Hail him, hail him. Highest are angels in glory. Don't move here. Give to his holy name. Family members, please to come right behind the casket. Praise him. Praise Family members, we ask you to come immediately behind the casket, Rev. 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 We will go first. Verse 2, praise him. Don't, 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 don't.
the Christ will be with you. And the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit will certainly be with you as you undergo or as you go through sorrow. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to do far more exceedingly, ex abundantly rather, than all that we ask or think, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for all the generations, forever and ever, and we say, Amen. Amen. Praise God, praise God. I feel like doing the one that we all know. And now may the same grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the Father, the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit. Hey, I'm going Them camera that 